Today I'm bringing you guys two big lucid dreaming tips. Hey guys, welcome back to Tiffro. It's me Matt here and today I'm giving you two of my biggest tips for lucid dreaming. Tip number one is to make sure that you get information from multiple sources. The fact is we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. I'm good at certain things with regards to lucid dreaming and not as good at other things. Someone else is going to be better at those things than me and worse at some things that I'm better at. So don't get all of your lucid dreaming information from one source. While I would love to have you guys just be on my channel all day watching my videos, generating me ad revenue and so on, I do actually want you guys to look at other sources as well. Watch other lucid dreaming YouTubers, check out lucid dreaming forums, check out the lucid dreaming subreddit on Reddit and so on. The more sources of information that you have, the more reliable the information you have will be. And in a field like lucid dreaming where imagination is everything and coming up with new creative ways of doing things is something that is going to be going on forever, there is always an advantage to discovering and learning from new people that you haven't actually investigated before. Because you'll go and you'll find that they have a completely new technique that no one else has ever used before you know, for dream control or for actually getting lucid in the first place. There are always new techniques and new ideas coming to the center stage of lucid dreaming and you should check them out. Tip number two, and this is somewhat related to tip number one, always be refreshing your information. I've done this, I've been guilty of this myself. I will read how to do a particular method and I'll be carrying it out for say weeks or months on end and I would just have read it, you know, once or twice originally, and I won't go back and reread it, and I'll keep doing the method and so on, and I'll be performing it, and maybe, you know, it's getting me some results, but it's not working as well as I hope it would, and then later I go back and I reread the instructions for how to do it, and I find that I've been performing one of the steps entirely wrong. So if I'd just gone back and reread it, I wouldn't have had that issue. Every so often, refresh your knowledge on how to perform a particular technique. You know, if you've been doing wild for a while, Take a look at some wild videos on how to do wild, some wild tutorials on forums and so on, and look at different tutorials, look at different people's perspectives on how to do it, and you know, try out new ways of doing it. If you've been doing it one way, say that you've been doing it, um, and you've been doing it without ever going through sleep paralysis the way that I typically do it, well maybe you want to try going through sleep paralysis and see how the results compare for you. Every time you re-familiarise yourself with the same knowledge, you're helping it take root in your brain. You're helping yourself really remember it and really apply it later on. So, always do this. Take some time to refresh your knowledge on lucid dreaming. Go back and watch some of my videos that you've watched before. Go to that forum post where you learned a particular technique and reread it again two or three times if need be. The results will be worth it. Anyway, if you'd like to learn how to lucid dream for yourself, I have this course, a 17 part audio course called Advanced Lucidity. The idea of the course is just to simplify everything for you. So when you're starting to lucid dream, everything can be a bit overwhelming. You've got to learn how to lucid dream, you've got to learn how to do all the things that you want like flying, like spawning items and controlling characters and so on, but you don't know where to start, you don't know what you should be doing. So I put this guide together, it's a step by step course that you follow one lesson at a time. Each lesson leads into the next lesson. And from there, you're going to learn how to lucid dream and how to do all the things that you want to do in a lucid dream. And at the end, your abilities will get put to the test. If that sounds interesting, check out the link up there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to subscribe. If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page. And if you want to keep watching, pick one of the videos on screen. Go watch that and I will see you soon. Take care.